time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of gum. Come get some. The F-82 is the USAF's finest very long-range escort fighter, which happens to literally be two P-51H Mustangs fused together and supersized like a McFat Knowles Grand Mac. This massive beast is powered by a pair of Allison V-17 10-inline engines, each one generating a healthy 1600 horsepower for a total of over 3200 horsepower under normal conditions, and over 4500 on takeoff. With all this power under the hood, the twin Mustang is capable of getting very close to its slated top speed of 461 miles per hour at around 20,000 feet with the use of war emergency power, and thanks to its giant pair of four-bladed paddle props, it can actually accelerate up to and sustain speeds of well beyond 350 miles per hour on the deck, making it capable of outrunning nearly any opponent at the 5.0 battle rating range in straight line dashes for the nearest airfield after exhausting all available freedom munitions on board. Speaking of munitions, the F-82 is equipped with the standard liberating armament of 650 caliber Browning machine guns with 400 rounds per gun, all of which happen to be the upgraded Mark III variant, which means over 56% more DACA per minute. I've got you in my sights. <coughs> Come on. Lights out. Target down. However, all of this power comes at a steep cost, a ridiculous 27,000 and something silver line repair cost for every time you bite the dust, which can easily drain your personal treasury faster than the American War of 1812 if you get reckless without any profit at all. Hey, what happened? As for flight performance and handling, the twin Mustang is surprisingly agile for its size, as it comes equipped with boosted control surfaces, allowing it to have a roll rate comparable to every Foctard that tries to level its way out of being force-fed 11-pound salvos of freedom and liberty. Despite these advantages, it is still not a dogfighter, instead it should be used in its stated role, in which you climb to engage larger aircraft and tear through them with your guns. Focusing fire on the wings and engines which will guarantee a fast kill without suffering too much return fire. However if you only encounter enemy fighters in your AO, boom and zoom tactics shall be your MO. Using your superior acceleration to make shallow high speed passes while blasting the enemy with a well aimed burst. And whether or not you are successful on that first pass, you shall not turn fight. Instead you shall extend out, trusting in your sturdy airframe to shrug off incoming fire as you gain speed and distance, before turning around to re-engage. In addition, since there are two pilots sitting in two separate cockpits that are well and away from the center of your opponent's aim, you can try your luck with head-on attacks, using your superior gun placement and agility to make Swiss cheese out of the poor bastard who challenged your authority. Kill joy. Double kill. And just like every other fighter in the American tech tree, it can be equipped with the usual selection of stones and rockets, which come in pairs of- Boring. You don't wanna hear about that. You wanna hear about guns, explosions, quality workmanship, explosions, explosions. It's really fucking simple. I wouldn't recommend shooting at me because your gun goes pew pew, but my fucking gun goes. Of course, the twin Mustang's most well known add on is its proprietary underwing mounted gun bot, which contains 8 additional M3 machine guns carrying an additional 3200 rounds. To equip it means sacrificing flat out acceleration in return for turning an already excellent gun platform into a freedom laser pointer that cannot be matched by anything, for it enables you to instantly delete everything in sight, from light pill boxes to cocky jet jockeys, it can do it all. Holy cow, America the beautiful. Now it's modules and crew skill time, in which we start with the usual, before going for all the performance and survivability mods along with the new machine guns. Only then should you grab the add-ons in whatever order you care to, as long as it's the gun pod first. As for your pilot skills, it's down to the usual, 
with a special focus, a need for high G tolerance which is absolutely needed, since you will always be on the highway to the danger zone of blackout and control surface lockup. And that is how you fly the F-82 twin Mustang. Now, get out there, and show those bastards on the enemy team what it really means, to see a double header. I'm gonna put the smack dab on your ass. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Watch it, bitch. Damn, I'm good. Hail to the king, baby.